Well, hello there, guys. We're going to be doing a little bit of War Room Afghanistan today uh, on the live stream. Uh, we had some fun doing just a standard gameplay, and I want to go ahead and get started um, with the campaign, I guess. Now, I don't know how much they're going to actually allow us to play because it is early access, um, but we're going to go ahead and just see how far we can go. We'll get some patrols out there, of course, and uh, then we'll, of course, just start working. Um, I'll take some light infantry for the patrol. I think with this, like, first part, I don't actually get to select exactly where they're going to go. Um, we'll confirm a second one. And we'll also uh, add some units to go ahead and spread hearts and minds. Or pretty much just get the people, um, you know, let them understand that we're here to assist them, to help them, uh, and hopefully get them on our side. So here we go. I think we're going to take one of the light infantry units and an armored vehicle as well. Okay. And we'll select the village of Chiras. So we're going to head down to Chiras. And that'll be all for our hearts and minds. Finally, just have to do something over here uh, for the stronghold. It looks like we have a number of different aircraft here. That's going to come in quite useful. Alright guys, we need to get started on the mission, of course. A bunch of different things which we can do. Um, first things first, I'm going to get started at patrolling some of the nearby villages. So let's go over here to Navbedak. Uh, it looks like 95% or 90% Pashtun, 10% Hazara. I'm not even sure what Hazara is, um, but we can't go there right now. It's not one of the missions. Let's take a look at the old bunker mission up here, and let's actually send some boys over here to uh, to see what's going on. I think I'll send in some infantry. Let's get in some light infantry, some veteran infantry. That's already quite a lot of units for armor tactical vehicles, and let's hope that they go and have a successful mission. We're going to find out the actual casualties of the mission we can also get eventually get our drone and provide close air support although that doesn't seem to be happening right now we're, we're just approaching the target how's it going Armand? good to see you man jump in here and pretty much uh, try and destroy the target on our own i think we have more than enough men though uh heading in there to get a victory in the meantime there are a few other villages here i'd like to take a look at but the game is making us wait until we get out of this uh, sort of mini tutorial uh, and then of course we can jump in so there we go. That is going to be a miss mission success. Um, and we'll take a look here. We lost two guys in action, killed six hostiles. If, we, if, if we're being honest here, we want to try to get, you know, very, very few uh, casualties. So I'm going to go here for the drone reconnaissance. There's also something going on here on the road. So we've just been hit by an IED. I am going to send in veteran light infantry. Um, an armor tactical vehicle and let's also send in a vehicle mine detector and just defend this area while our guys are kind of taking uh, watch all right let's send the drone out this is what i really want to do is start sending the drone out okay these guys are already out there let's send the drone we failed the medevac uh, but let's go ahead and take a look here with the drone, and we can pretty much see if there are any enemies um, in this village. So let's acquire the satellite here. Again, we're just looking for enemies. Our vehicle is actually there in the middle of the town. You can see that. That's really cool. We can actually see some, uh, some civilians moving around. So we're going to look on the outskirts here and see if we spot anything troubling. Correct targets found. So they want us to look for targets. I'm not seeing any right now, but things could change. We're going to scan here. Negative. Let's take a look up here by the well. Maybe there's something shady going on. I do see a group there. I love the, I love the drone in this game. What do you guys think? I love the drone in this game. Um, I don't think there's anything going on. It would have let us know already. And those are actually our boys on the ground. So I'm not too concerned about that. I don't know. Um, it looks like this village is okay, unless we're just not seeing where the enemy is. And that's certainly a possibility. They could even be out here in the desert somewhere. Try to get an overhead view here. No, those are just... That's just pottery. I see somebody over here. No, I, I don't think we have anything to worry about. We're going to go ahead and get out of the drone. We'll come back if we find anything interesting. But as far as I can tell, 
Uh, this is not... Not what I was expecting. I can't actually see any enemies here. Let's take a look at Team Bravo. Yeah, we might have to bring our teams back before we actually spot the enemy. Another option is to send our drone elsewhere. We're going to bring the drone back and uh, send him on a separate mission. So I don't think he's going to be of much use here. Now, what about up here? So let's take a look at the mission here. Let's send the drone. Now, they might be in one of these villages. Um, and if we can find them, obviously, <clears throat> it's going to be really good for our men. Um, I'm going to have to send some actual men to this village. So we've got the drone there. No, no, no. We want to send some actual guys here. Uh, mission. Oh, that's right. So for now, we're just going to take a look at with the drone and actually try to locate um, the enemy fighters here. Jump up and take a look at the chat. How's it going, Eric Guignard? Um, or am I quiet? Yeah, let me know, because I'll turn up the volume. Um, can you hear me? See if that's better. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to actually look here into town. See if we can't find the enemy. Last time we found a technical, and I think there's going to be a technical. There's two technicals right out here look at that we can actually see the machine gun on top and everything let's scan yeah that's definitely a problem we know where the enemy is we've got to send in the cavalry at this point so let's get out of the drone view uh we've got our drone here so i'm just going to keep him here but i'm going to try and uh, go ahead and send some infantry here to the village do we have to take the drone back to do that it doesn't look like it i guess so all right Lesson learned. So we'll come back with the drone. Okay, that's it, guys. At this point, um, I will send the drone once again, but we also want to assign troops. So let's assign a light MRAP. We've got to get some infantry in there. Veteran light infantry. Let's get some standard light infantry and an armored tactical vehicle so this should be enough i mean you know i could always be wrong but this seems like more than enough thank you arman if you guys are having trouble hearing me let me know but uh hopefully that wasn't such an issue or maybe just one person's uh, issue there all right so we're sending in the support i do want to do multiple missions at once but you know what i'm trying to be just safe here so let's focus on one at a time because uh, i would like to go over here and do this one as well now, I don't believe elections or anything else here is unlocked yet. I believe that's going to come later. But just imagine being able to also get a democracy established here. That would be really cool. All right, here we go. We're going to take a look at our drone. Let's take a look at the drone feed. And we can also get um, supporting... or Well, we can get help from the drone. So we can bomb the enemy, etc. First, we've got to locate them. I hear gunshots... I'm not turned the right direction to be able to spot anything. Let's turn on the FLIR. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. So these are actually Taliban fighters. Um, we've stumbled across a Taliban village. Usually we're just dealing with, you know, standard rebels. No, these are Taliban. Let's call in support right now, guys. Uh, I'm going to call in a PIG, a pig. Uh, this is just going to be an attack run. And we've also got a technical over there. Got to do something about the technical. Let's get over here. I'm going to try and get a buff. I don't honestly know what this is, but it looks like a bomb. So we're going to call the bomb in right there. Just a tremendous amount of uh, enemy fire from this location. Let's call in the vulture here. It's another bomb. Let's hope all three of these will be able to get uh, the enemy out of here, rattle the enemy out of their cages. And I'm even going to call in for reinforcements. Let's bring in a light MRAP and some light infantry. We can't bring them right now. We just can't. There we go. Let's see those bombs. It's a bad idea. I think we may have hurt some uh, civilians. There we go, guys. Three, two, one. The buff. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I think we definitely may have hurt some civilians. Not sure we need to bring in the vulture. There we go. The vulture being dropped as well. I must have just spent hundreds of thousands um, and killed four civilians with that attack. Look at that. We can't even see uh, the rest of the enemy here. It's that bad. Absolutely insane. 
Let's put on the Fleer. Not seeing any enemies. Those are our guys right there. Uh, might be an enemy technical. Yeah, insurgent pickup truck. Let's bring in some gun metal. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I cancel the gun metal? It's, it's way too, way too deadly. Uh, let's just bring in a vulture. 37 seconds for it to come in. Hopefully our guys will not be killed during that time. Uh, but we've completely wiped out their infantry. In fact, I can't wait to see what the casualties are like here. We're going to have taken out a large portion of the Taliban in this area. This game shows really well what this kind of conflict is like. Uh, because even though we took out a bunch of Taliban, obviously we also took out some civilians. Not good news for anybody. Let's get ready for that vulture. He might be moving too far away for the vulture to do any damage. Let's hope that's not the case. Vulture incoming. Good shot. I think this is a finished mission for all intents and purposes. Um, I will try to call in some reinforcements. Let's just send a light MRAP. No, we can't even send that. What about just a light infantry? Nope. There we go, guys. We have completed the mission. And I want to see the stats here. I want to see what happened. Potential breach of international law. That's bad news. Um, so two men lost on our side. Six lost on the enemy side. I expected it would be a bit more. Um, but again, this, this game is imperfect as it is very much in early access. I think you're absolutely right, Aramon. That level of ordinance was total overkill. <laughs> That's uh, not surprising, he says. Franciscus Punitor, good to see you, man. Alright, so let's actually see what the next mission is. Just been hit by an IED. Um, I will send the drone, but I'm also going to assign an MRAP, uh, just a standard light infantry team, and a vehicle-mounted um, detection here. So just to watch the enemy, make sure everything is okay here. Looks like we already have some units there, though, so I'm not sure what they're doing. And it looks like we have more than one drone. That's good information to know. What about Shiraz? So what we need to do is actually send drones to these different towns to see if we can find terrorist activity. At that point, we can actually potentially go in, etc. Um, I thought we already sent the drone here. Let me see. Yeah, let's take a look at the drone, see if he sees anything suspicious from this location. Put on the FLIR. So for instance, if we see people, you know trying to uh, plant IEDs, things like that. These are all our guys. Or even maybe just approaching enemy targets. But I'm not seeing anything to worry about. Um, if you guys catch something on the FLIR that I'm not spotting, let me know. those reinforcements that's annoying yeah i don't see anything here whatsoever let's get out of there and return with the drone those guys can accomplish the mission on their own um and let's send a drone over here so to doba it's just one of many villages here okay it looks like they are getting to the mission location pretty soon we got just a farmer tending his crops what about over here it seems okay it actually seems like a really quiet village 
maybe too quiet. But as, as of right now, I'm not seeing any actual suspicious activity. You know, no large groups, although, again, this is making me a little nervous. There's a lot of guys moving around here. Not seeing any guns either. This guy's got lucky. So it looks like um, we'll return with that drone as well. The people in that village don't seem overtly hostile. Send a drone here to this village. I'm not sure why that mission... It's not being accomplished. We just have to defend this area, pretty much. Now, this looks more promising. Though even here, just people... Actually, some, some women in niqabs here. This is just, uh, just a peaceful village, as far as I can tell. We've got to make sure, guys. We've got to check everything here. Yeah, looks okay. Surprising, because that really looks, looks suspicious, but... Just a few uh, old ladies kind of talking. Okay. I know, I'm absolutely awful. Yeah, let's get out of here. So we have retaken the village. I wonder if that's why we're not getting anything new, if they just haven't added anything else into this early access. Um, because it doesn't seem like we're spotting anything, uh, any other enemy activity here. And for some reason, we can't do this damn mission. Let's send uh, a mounted mine detector. Have we not sent one of those? M maybe that's what we haven't done. Vehicle mounted mine detection. Go for it. There we go. Okay. We got that mine off the road. Good to see. So we didn't actually need the drone for that. We just needed to send uh, that vehicle. And we did lose one friendly unit. So still somebody got mangled by an IED despite getting that thing off the road. Maybe we take another look at another village. So let's go to this village uh, in Bash Bashurab. It's a bit farther. And it's even got some Tajiks as part of its population. Now, at any point, we can return to base, start doing patrols, things like that. But for now, I just want to get a look here and see if I see anything suspicious whatsoever. Look at that. Even more barren than the first village. We actually get an evaluation in 12 hours. Uh, I want to see what they can say, because I'm not seeing anything else out here. There's a location here to discover a sector. Let's do that. So we're going to discover it with our drone. should be like an entirely new sector here to the north. Uh, maybe we'll open up some new mission opportunities. So that is pretty cool. Let's get the drone feed. Wow, pretty out here. Look at this. Kind of close to the ocean here, so it's a coastal area. Let's turn on the FLIR, see if we see any enemies, or if it's just completely barren out here. I think it's going to be completely barren. Um, I wonder if we just have to kind of look around to unlock the sector, or whether it unlocks on its own. That is really nice, though. I like that coastal area. Or maybe we just keep flying inland. I'm really not sure. Let's see what happens if we just get out of here. Return. Insurgents don't like staying in one place for a long time. Remember that when sending our boys. 
Since we're in a bit of a hurry, it might be best if we use birds. Missions are usually time limited. Try to send teams that will be able to reach the target in time. So we can also send, of course, helicopters with our men in them um, to the target location if we wish to do that. Right now we're still sending out drones just to check these areas, look for enemy activity, etc. Things seem to be okay. Um, I'm going to go back here and adjust, not hearts and minds, but adjust patrols. So we're going to start doing some more regular patrols. Oh, here we go. Um, better in light infantry, a light MRAP, an armor tack vehicle, and a vehicle mounted mine detector, as well as some light infantry. And we'll make it Route 2, because we've seen some, um, we've had some contact on Route 2. Do a new patrol, this time just an light MRAP and veteran light infantry and an armored attack vehicle. I'm going to put this one on Route 3. Alright. We don't have every single route covered, but hopefully this will make a difference. Start sending guys out to take a look at the situation. Apparently we've got a mission with smugglers. We're going to have to deal with that in a second. I just want to get one quick look at the uh, people here. Make sure nobody's up to any anything dangerous. That looks like a potential gun to me. Am I crazy? Like over his back? No, 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 no. Getting shell shock. I'm starting to see things. See, that definitely looks like a gun. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Could even be like a farm implement of some sort. Alright, alright. I'll bite, I'll bite. So let's get out of here. Mission started smugglers. Our colleagues at the CA informed us about weapon smuggling taking place near the caves south of the MOB. It's vital that we stop them. Shut down the weapon smuggling operation by using force. Okay, but be swift just as the smugglers are. You only have six hours to stop the gun running. So let's go ahead and assign, um, just to be safe, we'll get some mine detection. An armored tactical vehicle. These guys are gun smugglers, so they're going to have definitely some battle experience. Um, unfortunately, we sent out all of our best um, infantry units to uh, to patrol, so we're just going to have to make do with what we've got here. I think it's enough, but you never know, right? So let's go for it. Get rid of these smugglers. Unfortunately, for this mission, we don't get to send a drone, so we don't get to see the action up close and personal. I do like to watch the gunfights. It's quite fun. All right, mission started hunting the enemy. According to the intel we've required for the local population, a storehouse containing smuggled equipment is located in an abandoned Afghan militia base. Our sources stress the place is guarded by a large insurgent force. You know what? Maybe the reason we can't use these drones, we've got to call them back. Shame on me. So first of all, let me call these drones back. And then we'll actually be able to uh, watch the action unfold. Unfortunately, a lot of our guys are out patrolling. <laughs> So we might have to wait for them to come back. Um, I'm going to cancel order, so they'll all come back. I'm going to get them back to base. We're just not going to be able to patrol that sector. Okay, let's take a look here. Sending a drone. And assigning attackers. Veteran light infantry, light infantry, light MRAP, armor tack vehicle, even a mine detector, just in case we need it. We're sending the, the entire cavalry, pretty much. Now, over here, our guys are not doing well. Let's take a look at the combat here. Enemy units over here. We've killed a number of the enemy units. I'm definitely not retreating. We're, retreating. We're winning decisively against the gun runners. And that's going to be a victory for our boys. Good job. We lost one. They lost five. Acceptable losses for sure. A, um... Aramon is saying the AFVs tend to be a great force multiplier. That said, gun smugglers, so RPGs are possible. Yeah, in this case, we, we did okay, but um, always always dangerous to fight those gun smugglers or mercenaries or anything like that. Uh, soldiers of fortune can, can be a problem. Okay, we'll get up close and personal for this attack. I do want to see it myself, so let's take a look at the drone here. Get to the drone feed and see what's going to happen here. A ton of gun smugglers. I can see the targets popping up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, guys. These are all Taliban fighters. Sorry, these are not the gun smugglers. These are the uh, hunting the enemy mission. So this is probably a Taliban stronghold. Uh, let me turn on the FLIR. 
Oh, I don't think we're getting air support for this one. We can just watch. Look at all those Taliban fighters. There we go. Our boys are entering the, uh, the combat zone, of course. Look at this. That's our mine detector. Over here, we've got the armored vehicles just all moving in. I love that, man. Let's see how they do against this Taliban stronghold. I mean, that's a lot of enemies. It really is a lot of enemies here. It's a shame we can't call in any air support. I think due to the collateral damage we caused before, uh, High Command has taken away that power from us. That may or may not be the reason. Maybe it's just not the right drone. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now we've got support. And look at the Taliban spreading out here. We've got to see how they're actually going to set up. And then we'll decide how to target them. I think already here. They're probably going to stay right there and start firing. So let's try some gunmetal. No, I don't. That's the big bomb. Shame on me. Uh, let's try the Ghost Raider. So this is just kind of a flyby. Uh, stra it'll strafe this target, of course. But I hope it's not going to completely destroy the area. Although this is a Taliban zone all the way through. So we're probably going to be hitting them no matter what we do here. And we will try to minimize our own casualties. Let's bring in the crow as well. All of these are like mega bombs. I'm just not going to use them once they drop. I need to learn my, my bombs here. Those are two teams in combat right now. Come on, guys. 22 seconds to get the Ghost Raider in. Hopefully, that'll be sufficient to wipe the enemy out. Got to be careful with the overshooting here as well. Just saw one of the Taliban drop from the vehicle there. It looks like they got the driver and the passenger. But the guy on the technical is still giving us hell. Here we go. Ghost Raider. <clears throat> Pretty nice. So, it's kind of like an AC-130. Uh, at least, that's what it looks like to me. Let's bring in a Vulture. Drop the Vulture right there on top of the technical. But yeah, they've got a lot of enemies here. A lot of units. Uh, we are winning slightly. And it looks like our units are even moving up. But I don't really want them moving up. That could actually be quite dangerous. Because they're getting very close to the Vulture Bomb here. Uh, and potentially even the Gunmetal Bomb if we don't beat them before that drops. I'm trying to see if any of our boys are down. One of our guys is down right there by the rock. Future Medal of Honor recipient there. He fought to the very end. I hope that bomb is still going to have some effect. There we go. Our guys are firing a rocket. Oh my goodness. Amazing hit. I love the combat. So the combat is looking really cool in the game. He just knocked the guy off. But as you can see, this is a technical on top of a technical. <clears throat> so it's still some issues um, with the coding. I mean, it's very early access. So we've got to accept that. I still love that right there. Boom. Massive explosion massive explosion from the vulture i love how it's even hard to see the battlefield for some time after that thing drops we still got plenty of hardened uh, taliban fighters here they're not giving up guys look at all those dead taliban though they fight to the very end of course and let's see. Look at that. A lot of our guys are down here. I'm not sure if it was from the explosion. It could have been. Uh, the explosion could have caused some collateral damage. I know a lot got hit just in this gunfight. But we absolutely did not come prepared here. We should have brought pretty much everybody to this fight. Um, instead of just sort of a portion of our army. We'll know in the future that uh, when we're attacking a stronghold, we've got to be as aggressive as possible. We are winning decisively, so I expect we'll do fine. There is the air support. Now we've got uh, actual Cobra air support, I believe, uh, firing down on the enemy as well. It's a bit of overkill, I know. A little bit of overkill. Okay, nice. I'm not turning down support, so he's firing rockets at this location. Anything he can to get rid of the rest of the Taliban units. The crow may even come in at this point. Fire away. That is a beautiful sight. There we go. That's it, boys. We're gonna leave. Combat has ended. 
and only one dead on our side eight dead on the enemy side so for sure you could see that the numbers have to be tallied more properly that's definitely an issue here um in game without a doubt that they need to fix uh again still early access but that's not correct that was there was at least 50 enemies say 50 or 60 that we killed thank you master chief so sadly can't watch the stream today we'll watch uh, the voice the video after looks cool has it expanded a lot since it first went early access so not really and this is why um this just came into early access like just just recently i think yesterday um so i i don't i don't think so there's still a lot of work to be done cyberflame a pretty good simulator of the war in afghanistan yes thank you so much master chief that was really nice man yes exactly Arman is right i'm not exactly um i'm not exactly following the rules of war i'm being pretty pretty brutal in my approach here you know obviously if you're gonna play the game you can take any sort of different approach you could try to take a peaceful like hearts and minds uh, approach and try to avoid dropping uh, ordnance in this case just to show off to you guys we're, we're dropping the heaviest of the ordnance uh once you get the game you can see all of the selections i have your selections are going to be limited and i believe you unlock new um new types of ordnance as you do missions as you gain more points more hearts and minds etc um your actual command can take away your ability to drop certain bombs if you start getting a lot of collateral damage as you can see there we have like a bit i would say like a sixth of this entire bar uh, if it reaches the top, well, then we are relieved of command. Um, quite understandably, of course. All right, let's return that drone, too. No reason for him to stick around. <sighs> Come on now, drone. All right, we could send some more guys on a patrol. <clears throat> There's also an uncontrolled FOB here. Huh. We've hunted the enemy. We're still waiting for our evaluation here. You know what I think I'm going to do? That's more like it, by the way. So, eight killed. I can believe that. A lot of the other guys were wounded, eight killed. I can believe that. Uh, what we're going to do is send out some more patrols. So, let's go ahead and we'll also adjust the hearts and minds. We haven't done much with hearts and minds. So, let's send out a light infantry unit here, a light MRAP, and an armor tactical vehicle. And we'll go to Dova. It's going to be Group Quebec. And let's also do a patrol. We're going to leave a veteran light infantry behind. So this is just going to be a, a mechanized patrol, pretty much. Um, let's get a vehicle mine detection. Why not? And select Route 1. So that's right in front of base. I think that's probably the, the safest way to approach this. There we go. Now the village has been attacked, so now we have to wait for a mission here. And potentially we have to win hearts and minds by fighting off the Taliban attacking the village. Not sure if that's going to be the case, but we'll soon find out. Come on, baby. It actually gives us the details of these specific targets we killed. So that's really cool. Two insurgent pickups, essentially technicals there, and a number of troops. Well, this guy is going through the motions here, just taking a look at all the territory. I like that when he goes into this other territory here, we actually lose sight of the unit. So uh, we don't want to get off that road too much if we can help it. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta get some water. I am drying up here. <clears throat> Don't worry, it's, <coughs> it's not COVID. <laughs> oh god, I tried to drink <laughs> really cold water. <coughs> and just totally choked myself. Alright guys, sorry about that. Oh, that's unpleasant. That's really unpleasant. Uh, select two mine detections on accident. <coughs> yes, yes, it's not, it's not, it's not COVID. <laughs> I knew people were going to think that the second I started <coughs> coughing. Oh man. Hold on, guys. Ah, 
god, delicious. Alright. Water down the wrong tube, exactly, exactly. But like, during this time, it's so embarrassing. Um, here in Portugal, a lot of the cafes have started opening up. And like, one of my nightmares is this happening inside a cafe. Um, just suddenly, like, I drink some, some coffee and I start coughing like that. <laughs> it would just be absolutely horrifying. Okay, we must win not only on the battlefield, but also in people's minds and hearts. This should be switched, but okay. Number of Afghan Afghani are cooperating with us in process of liberating and stabilizing their country. In retaliation for that, insurgents are preparing to attack one of the villages in our sector. So we're going to send a drone to the village, number one. And number two, we want to immediately go ahead and send some units, uh, assigned some units. We're going to send the veteran light infantry, the armored vehicle, light MRAP. We'll leave the mine detector behind. Um, armor attack. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Might be dealing with a lot of insurgents here, but we want to make it work. So let's see. Come on, come on. I do agree with you guys. It's a really cool game. I, I have been asking for this game for a long time. Uh, and I recently got it. Oh, that's right. I was going to address that comment. Sorry about that. Uh, Master Chief says that he saw this six months ago. Yeah, those were like for the special YouTubers, not for the tiny ones with only 14,000 subs, unfortunately. Uh, but if you guys want me to become one of those, don't forget, always like and comment on videos. And I mean that seriously. Like, even a comment puts us up in the, uh, the actual YouTube uh, view rankings. So if everybody commented, if all 20 people watching this stream commented on every video, uh, we could potentially be up to that number. Here we go, guys. It's begun. It actually begun a little faster than I expected. Um, I thought we were going to have time to set up, but no way. The Taliban are already here. In fact, yep, these are Taliban for sure. Now, when we were playing on the last um, map, we did not deal with Taliban. They were just basic insurgents. So I don't know if these are stronger or simply a different class of insurgents. Um, but I don't like how they're constantly moving those technicals. And obviously, these units are very close to civilian homes. It might not be the best idea to, uh, to drop a bomb here. I'm just not sure about it. Um... Yeah, it's really risky because, again, if we end up getting an explosion that blows over here as well, uh, we could end up hurting some civilians. Let's just call it a, um, a vulture. So I'm going to drop it here, like right in the middle of all of these enemies. So hopefully it won't damage the actual buildings too much. Although even this might be a little bit of overkill. Also, since our vehicles are really close. Stay back from the vulture. We're also doing an okay job here, uh, just firing at it. So again, we'll find out pretty soon if this is overkill or not. 20 seconds until impact. Stay back, boys. Stay back. There's still a technical back there as well. So this thing actually will probably hit that technical, which is some good news. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster. Don't get so close. Don't get so close. Two civilians killed. Yeah, I really am playing <laughs> like the United States Army. Let's leave. Uh, that's it's still a mission success. Potential breach of international law. Again, if I did like a real campaign, I'd be a lot more careful. We are we are being very dangerous there. And I I, I even said it. I was like, that's way too close to the homes. But uh, lesson learned for this for the second or third time, I guess. Let's get out here. These guys are continuing to, to patrol, and in less than two hours, we're going to have our evaluation. I don't know if the high command is going to be very happy about all my civilian casualty incidents. It happens. You know, what can I say? What can I say? Wait, we've already done this. Um, we have to maybe do it again. Yeah, because we bombed the villagers, and they hate us now. That makes sense. Um, I'm just going to send in a bunch of units. We'll send in a multi-purpose chopper as well. No. Oh, it's a second village. Okay. So at this point, I'm just going to let them do the mission on their own. Maybe we can still send the drone. Just don't know if we're going to need footage or if it's going to be a little too late.
Did we break the game? We may have broken the early access. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. Thank you, man. Try not to kill every civilian, exactly. Yes, we think we found a little buggy bug uh, here in the early access for sure. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, I guess we have to quit. We'll, we'll try to make it through here. It's trying to get the transmission of the drone. But that's going to be it. That's too bad. Two hours away from our actual... Um, our mission ranking. Um, what I will try to do here, I'll exit. And I'll, just, I'll see if it auto-saved. If not, that's too bad. Because I really wanted to see what would happen. I wanted to see if, if we would make it through. Uh, or if they would mark us down for so many, uh, you know, civilian uh, incidents. Let's see if we could just continue off an autosave. Nonetheless, it's a really fun game. I mean, for what it is now, you know, it still has a lot of work that has to be done, without a doubt. But really, really fun game, man. I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, there's no load game there. That's too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed. Nonetheless, I have a lot of fun playing this for you guys. And I always want to thank everybody that stops by these streams. It really gives me a reason to keep on, you know, keep the channel going and uh, put up videos, etc. It gets pretty bleak here on YouTube a lot, but, um, you know, thankfully I've got other things kind of going on right now. So this is not really a main source of income. I want to always thank people like Master Chief that give some of their um, cash and also people like the Rambling Exile here that give some of their time. It does help tremendously. Um, thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. And again, if you want to see some more of this game, you know what to do. Just hit that like button and comment once the video is uploaded so that we get up there in the search rankings. Looks like our first video did really well, so let's see if we can't keep that up. I hear you, Franciscus. I hear you. It's, uh, it's a somewhat controversial game, I would say, and I'm pretty sure that once it actually is released officially, um, it could have some issues on certain markets. I'm sure, for instance, that the Windows Store, um, like uh, iPad, etc., um, or, I, or iPhone, iPad, etc., as well, um, are going to have some restrictions with, like, Afghanistan, the title. So just for that alone, I'm sure it's not going to be able to sell in certain markets, but hopefully Steam won't have a problem with it. All right, folks, I'll catch you on the next one.